Hey everybody and welcome back and today we're going to be doing a few minor upgrades to the uh, Windows 98 machine and uh, it's mostly just moving everything from this case over to this case and as well as upgrading stuff like the sound card doing a couple other little things but yeah so this case what's special about it well as you can see it's black uh, this is actually a Windows XP era case, and uh, it's some sort of Antec case. Probably can't see it too well in the video because my lighting isn't very good, but it has the same sort of front design as like the original Antec Land Boy. So I don't know if this was like a cost reduced version of the Land Boy or something. I can't find any model numbers or model names on it anywhere other than it says Antec uh, inside the case. This case is actually the original Windows 98 machine case. Uh, the motherboard, the processor, the power supply, uh, most of the stuff came from this case originally, and then I moved it over to this because this case, uh, the paint is actually pretty scratched up on the sides. So obviously I switched to that case because I thought that case looked a little bit better. But in recent times, I kind of grown to dislike the case, at least for this computer. I'm sure it'll be useful for something else. But, uh, yeah. And so basically everything's going to be moving from here to there. Now to fix the paint problem, uh, I figured we'd paint the case instead of just like normal black like it already is. We're going to paint it something a little bit more 90s. Some green. Now, this green that you're seeing on the camera is actually looking slightly brighter than it does in real life. Uh, this is actually a spring green. Uh, I wanted a little bit more of a neon green, but I couldn't really find anything much brighter than this that didn't look like total garbage. So yeah, I'm basically just going to paint the top of the case and the sides. I'm not painting the front because that's plastic. I know this says bonds to plastic, but I don't know if I'd really trust it because it has this weird textured finish and then a smooth finish as well. I don't know how well that would blend together. And also, I don't know how I would cover up the power button, the reset button, and the lights and the USB ports effectively. So, I'm going to go paint this. I'm not going to show you the video of it because there's no point. If you guys want to know how to spray paint, I'm sure there's videos up on YouTube on how to properly spray paint. But, I'm going to see how those turn out. And if I like the way they turn out, I might try and paint the front empty bays here, uh, CD drives here, and just paint these two empty bays below it. Uh, that might look interesting, I don't know, I'll see how I like the color, uh, so yeah. Alright, so I'm back after painting the case, and uh, my worries about the paint coming out darker than I was hoping uh, didn't turn out to be true, it is actually about the color I was hoping it would be and uh, it doesn't show up very bright on the camera but it's pretty bright in real life and it turned out pretty well except uh, up on the top panel uh, there was sort of a flaw that ended up happening and the only way I can really fix it is if I sand it down and uh, I don't have any fine grit sandpaper to really do that uh, I don't want to use too rough of a grit which you know, could scratch up the metal. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now. I'll probably end up forgetting about it anyways. So now it's mostly just a matter of moving everything from there to there. And so for what we're actually gonna be upgrading today, uh, it's not much. Uh, we're gonna be putting in this. This is a All Real Vortex 2 sound card, which is uh, made by a uh, Turtle Beach. Uh, I guess this was before they made stereotypical gamer headsets. But yeah, apparently that's supposed to do some pretty cool stuff. Apparently you can get some virtual 3D surround sound or something over headphones, which sounds interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I'll give it a try. And then we're also going to be doing something that's not really much of an upgrade, but we're going to be throwing in this 250 megabyte uh, zip disk drive. This is just a standard internal uh, IDE drive. I'll probably just slave this to the hard drive because uh, 
That's what I feel like. I'm not going to be messing around with the virtual CD drives or adding another hard drive in here like I said in the previous video because I messed around with virtual CD drives on another computer. It didn't really work out. Uh, I kept getting errors about it not there not being a disk in the drive when in reality there technically was the virtual drive. So whatever reason, my software, like I could browse the virtual CD and everything, install stuff off of it, whatever I wanted to, but the actual like games and stuff just wouldn't detect it as an actual CD drive. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a hard drive or something. And even though Windows said it was a CD drive, I don't know what I don't know what's happening with that. So for now, we're just gonna be sticking with the good old optical drive for doing our stuff. But now we gotta crack this guy open, rip out everything, and then stick it all in there. Now I'm probably not gonna be showing much of the actual part moving over process because it's pretty standard just standard ATX motherboard and stuff it's really not worth showing because I'm sure a lot of you know how to build a PC and you can just go look up a tutorial if you don't so yeah I'm gonna start taking this stuff apart you see that thing that thing right there that's the fan that thing sucks that thing's so loud Jesus. So this is the sound card that was in there. This is a Sound Blaster Live CT4760. It's actually a really good sound card, but I really want to try out the Auro Vortex 2 because it's supposed to be like one of the best 98 uh, sound cards you can get. So, hey, you know what? I'll give it a shot. So here's our GeForce 4 TI4200. I could have swore this was purple. I could have swore the PCB was purple. Uh, I guess I thought wrong. I should probably change the thermal paste on this. Hmm. I might go do that off camera. Always be sure to ground thyself. I didn't really show this off either because you couldn't really see it. This is a Seagate U Series 7 60 gigabyte hard drive. This thing is nice. I mean. There's no PCB, like, on the just on the back. It's got this nice thing covering it up. It's even, like, foam in there. Like, dude, this is, like, a super nice hard drive. That is one gnarly uh, IDE cable. That is the motherboard tray completely removed. And there you can see the A-bit A17 motherboard. I'm going to put this on a very wobbly stool, like any sane person would. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to. That's a very dangerous spot for it. Let's just put it behind the case on the desk. There we go. The ridiculously high quality power supply. It's a MGE. It's fingerprint magnet city over here. It's a 500 watt. And there's the window where the blue LED lights shine through, as well as the fan at the back. It also has this other fan just like stuck to the front of the power supply. I don't know why, but they're like, hey, we want this thing to stay nice and cool. And that's it. We don't need anything else out of this case. We can just get rid of it. I don't know. I could slave the zip drive to the optical drive because it's like right here no let, let's just let's just do that because i'm lazy so yeah you can get a really good look at it now there's our one gigabyte of ram stuff there's the zalman you know sunflower cooler is what i call it and you got your io and stuff and i didn't forget this that this is like the sharpest io shield i have ever had all right, so I put the motherboard in now. I haven't plugged anything into it, but I uh, put most of the screws in. There's like two places where there isn't screws, but you know, it's in there pretty solidly. Did I mention this motherboard has SATA? Yeah, that's right. There's SSD potential. Oh yeah, this case has three hard drive LEDs. Why? I got the power supply and everything in. Got a 
actually somehow managed to make the cables actually look kind of decent. I didn't expect that. And I totally forgot. There's no fan in this case, so let's put in the original fan that goes to this case. This is Antec fan. All right, so I'm gonna use the these gnarly cables for now. Oh my god, I plugged and I plugged the IDE cable into both IDE ports. The same IDE cable into both IDE ports on the motherboard. God, I'm retarded. I have to admit, cable management's looking pretty decent so far, especially for what you know what it used to be and now we're gonna put in this instead of this i mean if this doesn't work or something i'll throw this back in there but i found this for like 50 cents at a thrift store it was literally just bouncing around with a bunch of stuff that's it we're done so yeah let's go ahead and close this guy up and uh go see if it turns on and it actually works Okay, I got everything hooked up. I don't have any speakers to really show off the sound card if it's working, but I will plug in some headphones later. But, uh, I'm gonna turn on the power supply to the computer. And I'm gonna press the power button. It turns on. Ooh, it's pretty, still pretty loud. And look at that, it's working. What is making an awful sound? It's uh, quite loud. I think that might be the GPU fan. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go look. I gotta, I gotta check that fan, because, oh, that sounds... Bad. I th I'm pretty sure that's the GPU fan. Ah, uh, it just worked. It just worked. Everything just worked. Right off the bat. Alright, I gotta... I gotta turn this off. Okay, so literally all I did was turn off the computer, and the fan stopped making the horrible noise, so... It's much quieter than the other machine. I can tolerate this much more. I want to get into the BIOS to see if it detects everything okay. So that's the hard drive. Set this to... Oh, it's page up, page down. Okay, auto. Set that to auto. That's the hard drive. That's the CD drive, and then this is... Didn't... Save it. What? Oh, okay. Auto detection. Oh! There it is! Detected the zip drive. Now let's uh, boot into that Windows 98 and see uh, how it works. Okay, found found the sound card. Okay. So, don't you know what? I actually went ahead and put the drivers on a zip disk. So let's go ahead and see if we can... Uh, why did Winamp start on startup? I didn't tell you to do it. Let's go ahead and pop... Lady Cougars? What? Uh, I don't know what these zip disks were used for. for like, oh, the light's flashing on the drive. It's making some noises. There it is! It just popped up. Worked. So zip drive confirmed for working. So now I gotta go ahead and uh, 7-zip extract the files to... Uh-oh. <sighs> Don't you just love it when Windows 98 is being Windows 98? Control delete. Yay, control alt delete's not working. Oh, oh. 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 No recovering. Let's see if the reset button works. It does.
Hey look guys, I fixed it. It actually boots now. How'd I fix it? By taking this thing out. So, I don't know what happened, but whatever, the combination of this and the drivers just doesn't want to work. So I threw in the old sound card. Thankfully, it still boots. And to show that it is the old sound card, uh, scroll down to, or probably can't read it. Zoom in some. Creative SB Live. Yep. So yeah. I wasn't going to really use the features of this anyway, so... Really, this, this whole experiment was pointless. But the point is, we've moved it into the new case. We added the zip drive for some reason. But, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Check out the previous 98 Machine video if you want to see what, what this was mostly all about. And, uh, have a nice day. Bye.